Hello, mi hao nana, la suerte dan school again. We prepared another advanced class for you. Uh, this will be a quite quick recording. We don't have that much time for record for you, but we decided to do it anyway. So we'll get straight to the point. We'll show you first whole move from the beginning to the end. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, and one, three. Five, seven, one, three. Five, seven, and one, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, seven, one, three. Five, six, seven, one, three. Five, seven, one, three. Five, seven, one, three. Five. Seven, one, three, five, seven. Boom! A lot to do, a lot to do. A tiny bit of rumba and hmm, funky combinations with arms. So let's start explaining. We go with uh, guapea and setenta straight away. Six, seven, one, two, start like setenta. Six, seven, one, two, rotate and up. Five, six, seven, eight. We're using arm to wiggle a bit on seven, eight. Anna was rotating on one foot. We continue with enchufla and another left turn for the girl. One, two, left turn, five, hook, guys, and then exibela, hop. And ting, boom. Easy peasy, not really. We'll do it one more time. The only difficulty, or the main difficulty in here is to continue with the left turn after enchufla. And guys, you have to be ready to trigger your left turn after, very important, after you start leading second left turn. Five, six, seven, one, we go. Five, setenta, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, and chufla. Left turn, hook turn, hop, exibela, hop, and ting, poco. From here, we'll go with dilekeno and then chufla alarde, six, seven. So, second part, rumba part, and chufla alarde, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. I'll go for guys' parts and then Anna will explain yours. So, instead of doing step on seven, I stand in the scarecrow position. And then I scratch my uh, back leg with the right foot. One, three, cross front, cross front. Then there will be attack on one. Attack with the heel. Three, open shake and wave. And then deal like you know. Um, I'll count it one more time. So five, six, seven, one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven. Okay, uh, and then I drop on seven, boom, and then from this position to the like no, boom, cheeky, boom. So it's quite low, the like no. Uh, we'll work on that, and Anna will tell you meanwhile what she is doing. I'll step away. <laughs> so, girls, we're doing the rumba movement when we accent down to the floor. So it's like we're cleaning our feet, we've got water on our feet, we're drying them on the mat, but the accent is down. So we've got right leg down on one left leg on three and it's good to try and exaggerate your hips as we do this movement so we've got this swinging movement on the hips the guys have got our hands at the moment so we can show off with our hips so we've got one three and then we're gonna do the movement in rumba as if we're moving our skirt to the floor so we're gonna twist our knees first to the left then to the right and then to the left again and also as we Go into this position, we've got the attack on one. So we're going to use our left hand to defend. And I also exaggerate again this movement by lifting my hips up. So I'm a bit low to the floor and then I lift them up. Then on three, we're just going to use our hand to, as if we've got a skirt, push it away. Then we're going to bring our hips round to the center and then shake on seven, eight. So all together, it's going to be one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven, eight, and then deal like I know. Okay, I'll count in one more time so they can they have a chance to start together with you. Five, six girls, and one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven. Okay, 
Uh, okay, yes, I was thinking that you're uh, moving your left hand, but yes, you have right connected in front. Yes, mine right and Anna's right at this position. So maybe we'll start from Enchufla Alarde one more time just to show how we get into this position. Five straight away. One, two, three, five, six, up. One, three, five, seven, and one, three, five seven and one two three and five six seven good this is section two now let's go to the section three this is the most funky arm combination but not only arms actually it really really matters how girls are uh, stepping sometimes we have this discussion uh, in here with with the girls like sometimes they are telling me like you know i danced with this guy at the party and he was okay leader but yeah, there were some elements missing and I tell, I always like, from one point of view I want to defend guys, yeah, because I know it takes time to get good, but I tell them, look, it works the same way for both um, positions, from leading and for following. So we feel more or less the same about the followers as you feel about leaders, yeah? Uh, so when you dance with a guy who doesn't give you exactly precise signals, he doesn't move away, he doesn't create you space, and we could go very, very long about all these different elements that should be there. Uh, the same happens from our perspective, the same feelings we have. So uh, if the girl can do a simple thing as walking, literally walking, but in proper directions, not any random because they say like, oh, he will lead me, I will walk wherever, no. It's not wherever. With time, with experience, you start feeling which direction is good, which direction helps the guy a bit, and then the dance flows because of that. So it's very, very, very important that now you'll pay attention to the steps that we are going to show you from girl perspective. Obviously, we try to lead them, uh, but it shouldn't be a fight between us and me dragging Anna very, very strongly because I want to change her, because I want her to change the direction. But actually, uh, I should give very, very gentle signal, clear, but gentle, and she should do the rest. Yeah, this is how it works. It's a team sport. It's a team of two, but still a team. Um, okay, we go with uh, the last part, and the last part starts like La Botella. So if you remember in La Botella, we are connecting the free hand, the one that uh, is right now on Anna's hip. I'm pulling her, and I will uh, remove, and I will put this arm on her left shoulder. So it will go like this. Six, seven, one, two, shoulder. So this is on three. Five, we are going with the left over. Six, seven. And on seven, we are taking the hand down. Okay, I'll do it fluently because it looked like nothing. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, seven. Okay. Apart of moving arms in a funky way, we will do move them uh, quite funky uh, in the rhythm as well. Now, check this out. Anna is on my right side. I want to land in gancho on my left side in three steps only. So I have one, two, three. And because of that, she traveled. She traveled from my right to my left. She's already prepared to go further, but we are not there yet. Yeah, but it really helped that not only I walked one, two, three, but Anna went with behind my back as well. Okay, I'll do it uh, from the beginning of the third section till Gancho. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, and walk. One, two, three. Okay. Now, I'm going to rotate myself to the right, something like a hook turn, but it will be not really with crossing right behind left, so don't think about it as hook turn, but it's the same tempo and it's still right turn. But hands are moving. So on five, my right foot uh, goes slightly back, I take gancho off. Boom, five. On six, left foot, right arm goes over my head. Six. And on seven, I have to rotate towards Anna, move the left hand over my head. Seven. Okay, stationary is a lot more tricky than I thought. Um, I'll do everything from um, La Botella beginning. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, good. Now, Anna is on my right side. We continue with Enchufla, but it's Enchufla forward one more time. One, two, three. Stationary moment when I push the right hand behind her back. Five. Six, seven, nothing uh, spunky happened here. This part is relatively tricky, not because it is tricky, but because we know Santiago. I'm going under the left arm, lifting right up and rotating to the left. 
So we have three steps to do this section. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. And now we'll sort out everything with one more walk forward and rotating towards each other. Our right hand goes in front of her face. Five, six, seven. This is technically like just enchufla. Nothing super special. And one more enchufla. One, two, and mix. And five, six, boom. Dile que no. And five, six, seven. So it looks complicated and not complicated at the same time. It is a bit complicated because if you want to do it nicely, you have to think about the directions of the walk. Um, obviously, it could be done, as always, more round than we are doing. We're again facing the camera, so it's clearer for you. The same part, straight away to La Botella. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, gancho, five, six, seven, and two flat front, cheeky, cheek, and push, five, go behind, one, and two flat front, five, and two flat front, one, and mix, five, seven, D like an old hop, and five, six, boom. Mm, quite crazy. And uh, now we'll do whole routine from the beginning to the end. Five, six, seven, one, two, we go, like sedenta, hop, cheeky, cheeky, pa. Cheeky cheeky boom boom, cheeky cheeky second, cheeky cheeky hook exibela, cheeky cheeky pa, cheeky cheek D like an one. And two fly larde, hop, one, two, three, hook, five, six, boom, and cheeky, and cheeky, and poco, and cheeky, and one, three, five, seven, D like an hop, and last part slower, one, two, shoulder, over, over, one, two, gancho, Hop, cheeky, boom, one, two, hop, press behind, one, two, hop, cheeky, cheek and chufla, cheeky, cheeky, mix, 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 D like I know, hop, five, six, seven. Very good. We'll show you also different perspective when we dance with music. One, three, five, six, seven, and one, and we go, set and stop. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, from hop, ten. Up and dig, boom, boom, and one, and chufla, alarde, and stop, and boom, boom, cheeky, cheeky, boom, tra, chicken, acá, one, and la botella, king, three, five, over, over, gancho, down, up, up, and chufla, press, hop, behind, dig, front, change position. So now there is our front. It will be quite confusing, but we'll give it a go. Setenta. Up. Up. Ding. And ding. And chupla. Alarde. Ding. Up. One, three, five, seven. Attack. Open. Hop. Drop, be like an off. And last section, ping, shoulder, over, 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 gancho, down, up, up, one, press, like Santiago, forward, forward, up, and finish. And one, three, five, seven, very cool. A few things to notice about this move. First of all, it is very leadable. Obviously, the rumba part, um, you don't have to do exactly what we are doing. This is part of choreo, but it's good to develop an ability to stand next to each other, do some solo steps, and still hold your partner, yeah? From both perspectives, from follower point of view and from, from the leader perspective, yeah? We need these elements. They might happen in dancing. They do happen in dancing. Uh, this is thing number one. Thing number two, it will take you quite a bit to work out arms. Try to work out arms in the rhythm. So not any random moment, but um, for majority of, the, of it is one, three, five, seven, or the last part, one, three, five, six, seven. I mean, the last part when we go two, 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 two. It's in the rhythm. Very, 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 very important. And that's basically it. 
Again, I think this class was quite different to the classes that we um, posted before on our channel. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, remember to like, subscribe and press the bell. Like, subscribe and press the bell. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. You can become a patron of our channel. You can subscribe. You can become a member here on YouTube as well and support our channel directly here uh, from YouTube. We appreciate all your help. Thanks to that. Obviously, we can produce more videos and we have less headaches thinking about, oh my God, we have to do our day by day things and we can't produce anything for YouTube. Um, yeah. So thanks for all of that. We'll see you next time with another sequence. I don't know what it's going to be. Probably some salsa solo again, because now we have a couple of uh, solo routines that we never recorded for YouTube. I like to keep them on YouTube as well for our own uh, archive. So when once we uh, repeat classes here in real life, we know what we are referring to. And obviously it helps our students uh, to memorize the routine. So if you, are, if you are already our student and you are watching it, you definitely recognize this routine from Monday classes. Uh, anyway, I said it will be short, so we cut it here. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.